Hey, good morning machinists, Silent Cypher here again. It's been a while since my last video. I was pretty busy, but now I'm on holidays and I, I thought mm, it's time to make another video. Uh, first of all, uh, let me say thank you to all my YouTube subscribers, all the um, machine tutorials guys who uh, sent me messages and I'm, I'm pretty glad you liked the videos. And um, today I'm not going to do a, a real tutorial video, it's more like uh, a workflow video because a lot of people ask me what's your workflow, what's your sample sources, um, how do you start making a beat, so this is for all you guys who are asking this. And um, it's around 10 o'clock in the morning and it's already 25 to 27 degrees Celsius in here so it's gonna be a pretty hot day and um, I thought what will be better than a nice and smooth chill out summertime hip hop beat so let's get this baby started so first of all I'm going to start with a nice smooth pad synth sound um, therefore I load in my massive synthesizer um, plugins massive and in the browser we're looking for the sound fluffy and here it already is fluffy in heaven pretty smooth sound and uh, let's see what we can play with it turn on That's perfect. So I set my tempo around maybe uh, 85, so a pretty down tempo beat. And I'm just going, I hit record, so my pattern is created. I set my pattern length to 4, and all we need to do is record it. quantize it and we repeat it nice so next I'm going to add some drums and it really depends on how I create a beat most of the time I start with the drums first and then adding samples and basses um, matching the drums but in this case I already had this this melody and this pad synth in my head and now I need to look for some smooth drums to add matching the, the synth so I'm going to my samples right here and I'm going to use drum kits Let's say maybe the evidence drums I bought on eBay could be good. Oh, they're pretty hard. This I like this bass drum. Put it on sound one. Um, for the snare, I want, I'm looking for a smooth um, side stick, something like that. That's not bad, but a little bit too dump. Uh, that's not what I'm looking for. Maybe we can browse the the machine sounds. Maybe the um, 70s drum kit has a 
has a decent sound, something like that. Let's see. Side sticks right here. I'll like this one. Set my pattern to fixed velocity. Now this sounds a little bit boring, so I'm going to my group H, which is uh, most of the time my effects group. And I load in slot one, I load a reverb. It's called Ambience. It's a free reverb. You can download it for free online. It's a pretty dope reverb. You will love it. And now I'm going to route the side stick. I go to my sound tab, output, and I route aux1 to my ambience. I'm going to rename this in the reverb so it's easier to remember. And bring this down. Oh, sweet. Perfect. So all we need now is a, a hi hat. It's all too hard. I want them smooth. Perfect. Perfect. Um, let's see if I can find a matching open hi hat. Nice. So um, I'm going to uh, set cutoff for the hi hats so the sounds are not overlaying. Um, this is done easy. You go to your sound, press pad mode and choose link group 1 uh, I'm sorry wrong feature um, you go to your modules and you use choke group 1 and the same for the other sound next you can hear like a real drum set your closed hi-hat is stopping the open hi-hat sound and um, oh yeah um, for the bass drum, you set polyphony to 1, so you don't have uh, overlaying bass drums, like, so that's perfect. And uh, I lower the volume a little bit of the open hi-hat, and let's check it out. Nice! So uh, let's bring this together. I choose a 4 bar pattern then and I just hit record. static so I'm going to uh, use some swing for my bass drum and I'm going to add some more uh, triplets for hi-hats
Aloha. Alright, so next I'm going to add a bass line. Go to my group C, rename it to bass. And for my basses I use Hypersonic. It's a plugin made by Steinberg and Visu. It's hard to get because it's very old, but I like some bass sounds of it. And uh, if you can get it on eBay or somewhere else, I highly recommend it because it has some pretty cool sounds. So I'm choosing electric bass, the finger P bass. Pretty cool sound. Uh, I reduce the EQ a little bit and the tone so it's a little more down and I increase the volume a little bit and let's record it. Oh, stop it. I have to set my pattern length to four bars again. And, uh, Quantize it and let's hear it. Yeah guys, that's it so far, pretty simple beat, but really chill out, so enjoy your day, and uh, have fun making beats with machine, peace!